What up guys, it's Artist. Um, this is gonna be a different video. I know I haven't posted for a very, 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 very long time, but um, I've been thinking about certain things recently and I was gonna make this video about four months ago and I just never came around to doing it. So this, as you can see, is titled Why I Stopped Wearing Crystals. Um, not that I completely stopped altogether or I will never wear crystals again. For example, um, I wore this Moldavite. This is Moldavite. I wore this the other day because the last time I wore it, some really crazy shit happened to me and things were ripped out of my life. But when I look back, when I was wearing this and it happened, it happened for the better and it was people and things and situations changed, which I didn't like or understand at the time, but it actually benefited me in the long run. So I did wear this the other day to see if anything similar would work and it didn't. And I'll explain why. So first of all, I'm gonna explain why I and most people I believe wear crystals. There are obvious reasons why people start picking up crystals, learning about crystals, about quartz and, and um, you know, uh, rose quartz and um, there's so many crystals I have. I've got about 200 crystals that I still have. You know, people learn about organite and all of these different um, elements. There are apparent healing properties that science can prove crystals resonate at a certain frequency which can um, actually heal you or make you feel better or change certain energetic frequencies in your system that can um, activate chakras and there's a whole load of things they can do however and I'm going to try and break this down as, as simply as possible but it goes into um, a much deeper understanding which I've come to learn over the last few years is that you know some people say that a crystal works and it sometimes stops working or it it does its job or it breaks or you lose it or you know just all of these different um, things come with crystals so there are the benefits and there's the pros and there's the cons and all of this right now one thing I realized that whether you believe it or not everything you ever experience in your life that has something to do with using something for something is placebo right and what I mean by that if you don't know what placebo is like they always say the placebo effect for example is if you was to give a patient in a um, hospital a sugar pill and tell them that it was medicine or paracetamol the chances are they'll get better because they automatically think that this thing going into the system is activating something which is going to create health and it does work sometimes um that's why sometimes when you take paracetamol, you automatically start feeling better or neurofen or whatever you take. I don't take those medicines. Um, you automatically start feeling better because you get into the health state of health, basically. So why did I stop wearing crystals? Well, I used to literally wear crystals every single day. I started spending crazy amounts of money on crystals. Uh, one day I went into a shop and spent 200 pounds on like, you know 30 crystals and you know I just it started become becoming a thing where I started collecting them and I would just have so many crystals uh, like I'll give you an example this is uh, one of my favorite crystals I have organite pyramids you know I have organite pyramids so you know obviously so you know I'm not talking shit I used to really 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 be into crystals and it's not that i disregard all crystals now they obviously still have their properties they still have healing elements and stuff um but i got into this idea and i have to say idea because from my point of view it's fact but if you're not into it or you never heard of it it becomes an idea that you do create your own outcome as most of you watching this may or may not be aware if you're into the secret stuff which I got into like when I was like 16 you realize that you are what you create and obviously crystals water everything you can experience in your life was created by the creator so it was created by an external system or an internal system however you want to put it now scientists and you know people who understand crystals I don't know what they'd be called but people did insane research on most crystals um, and they took it down to the scientific elements of what they actually did to the system or the 
um, the brain or how it could help your health understand that someone had to do research and work out what was going on and then turn it into facts about what they believed the crystal was doing this information was then passed on for example you have a clear quartz and then I haven't got one on here but um, you know you can have a clear quartz and you can have a smoky quartz some people will say that a clear quartz will strengthen the no sorry the clear quartz will expand energy so whatever you're experiencing or feeling it will expand the smoky quartz will strengthen it so if you put these together what however you're feeling or whatever you're experiencing will be expansive and it will be stronger so people would wear that because if they're trying to resonate at a certain frequency it would expand and you know would be stronger blah 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 you'd automatically go into that mind state that certain things were occurring as you put the crystals on you will start seeing things around you change people would start gravitating towards you in certain ways some people might even want to touch your crystal etc um, so the reason I came to this conclusion was I started a process which was this is way out of um, the realm of crystals but this is kind of the level of understanding I'm at right now is I believe in parallel realities I believe in an infinite amount of, out of an infinite amount of things that um, that are happening right now in this present moment every single possible outcome can be occurring um, the reason I believe that is because I've trialed and erred it over the last four years and every time I did a parallel shift things will change I realized that also when I change my state of being how I want to feel and how I choose to be in every single present moment and it doesn't it's not always consistent because sometimes I go on autopilot this is the conscious and the subconscious mind one works one doesn't one works one doesn't and it's like when one's working one's like basically asleep and then when one isn't asleep the other one's activated basically I realized that the more I thought that I was thinking and the more I chose to feel how I wanted to feel now and now and now and now I could change an outcome now I changed, I, st I started changing my health, the way people responded to me, a whole load of things. It doesn't always work how you want it to work, but you can always change how you feel. This is why I don't believe in depression or um, anxiety. Big statement. How can you not believe it's happening? It's not that I don't believe it's happening in the, um, on the earth. What I, what I mean by that statement is I don't believe it should occur ever if you know how to choose how to feel. Now you need to understand that there are certain um, situations, some more traumatic than others, and certain things happen that you believe are out of your, they're out of your reach um, of being able to, let's say, control. For example, if a car crashes in front of you, you couldn't, you weren't in control of that. However, you are always in control of how you feel of this, um, about the situation. Now, when you realize nothing exists apart from this present moment, the past only exists because of your memory and the future exists as an idea, you realize that in this moment, how you choose to respond creates your next outcome. Then I realized that, so if, if you look at crystals or even, you know, for example, when I go on stage and perform and stuff, I you would usually put on sunglasses and I'd wear certain outfits, which I do anyway. Um, but that would bring more confidence. Why? Because I am stuck behind a character, right? And I don't need to, you know, look people in the eye so I can kind of zone out. But that's just, that's also placebo. Like I would do that. I used to do that back in the day and then I got used to it. So I got more confident being stuck behind characters. Um, the thing about crystals are you're still taking your cue from someone else's information. If someone told you that a quartz crystal um, enhanced sex drive or enhanced your mental capacity to do certain things, you would start to know that and believe it and start to see certain outcomes change every time you wore the crystals. The problem is you don't know whether these crystals are real 
whether the crystals that you're using are, um, you know, have had spells put into them. You don't know whether you've, you know, whether cleansing them, if you've cleansed them correctly. Like there's a whole load of things that could come into play when you realize that you are taking something from an external situation, i.e. you buy them from a shop and you might walk out the shop thinking, okay, that person was a little bit weird. Like, I don't know if I trust the crystal, but then you go and cleanse it. Because that subconsciously is in the back of your mind, you might always think that there might be something that was attached to the crystal. And because it's in the subconscious, it stays there and it's just information that basically plays out into your reality. So why I stopped wearing crystals? Because I didn't want crystals to dictate how I felt or um, responded or, you know, chose to feel. I wanted to be the... Um, I wanted to be the person who chose that myself. The video's got to like 12 minutes now, so I can make this as a longer video. However, um, I just wanted to have a little introduction because I find that when I, recently when I've been saying things, someone else says it and I'm like, but I've been saying this for a long time. And I wanna start basically putting videos out there so I can say, well, look, I've been saying this for a while. Um, and you know, as you probably saw, um, 2012 to 2000 and actually let's say 2013 to about 2015. Actually the last three, four years, not so much, but the last few years when crystals became a thing and celebrities started wearing them and stuff, it became a fashion statement and it became a fashion statement to know everything about crystals. And then all of a sudden everyone was wearing and buying all these crystals and you know, had all this crazy knowledge about them, but you knew nothing. So yeah, that is my statement. I want you to be aware that it's not that crystals don't help or they, you know, they are not um, useful. It's that you give the crystals the use prior to using them here. Because you are now seeing things around you and you are choosing to feel a certain way, but you're blaming it on the crystal. It's okay as a catalyst, but I wouldn't use it all the time because you're basically stating that without this thing, I can't do certain things and that's not the case. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there are any questions about um, how the subconscious mind works in my personal belief or, you know, questions about the parallel um, jumps that I was just talking about or how to even control how you feel in your state of being, it's videos that I might start uploading, but yeah, I just wanted to have this as an introduction. Thank you for watching.